Jeep Wrangler, 2.4 liter, doing drum brakes. So what I'm doing is I'm getting all my parts all set up and ready and chemicals that I'll need for the for preparation or for doing the job. So the brake hardware is definitely a must and then the brake shoes and then um, so I've got the old drum and the, uh, compared to the new one to make sure that they're the right ones. A little bit of engine degreaser here to kind of clean everything up before you get started. Put a piece of cardboard beneath to catch the uh, all the drippings. You'll want to do this uh, because this is going to be a real messy job with all the brake dust and the grease and dirt and grime. You're going to get it all over your shirt, hands, gloves if you're wearing them, boots all over the place. So that's why you start with cleaning a little bit first. Let that soak in a little bit here. Wear your safety glasses. So I'll take you over to the other side. I just did the passenger side. Get the brake parts cleaner and spray off all around the old brake shoes and everything where you sprayed degreaser on. If you're going to be reusing the wheel cylinders, don't soak those rubber boots with the brake parts cleaner because it'll damage them. reason why I'm replacing these brake shoes. They're terrible and they're cracking and broken and pieces coming apart. So <laughs> extremely unsafe. And if something gets jammed up in there, it could lock the wheel up. So uh, these are just important things to, uh, to take notice to if you're inspecting your vehicle. And then if you decide you want to replace them, this would definitely be a 100% reason, yes, why you would want to replace them. Okay, so I got all my tools laid out, as you can see, on the floor. So I'm just going to get ready to start removing the old brake shoes. So they've been soaking for many, many minutes now. And I uh, cleaned them off with brake parts cleaner. And they're ready to go now. Make this a clean and easy and painless job. So as soon as you take all your hardware off, it's a good idea to just set everything either to the left or to the right of you, kind of how it came off, uh, where you, you know, exactly where you place it, like if it's the upper spring, you put it like in the upper part here. So makes it makes it easier to keep everything organized. So I find that this uh, hose pick tool works really well for taking these springs off. Sometimes I'll have to use a pair of uh, needle nose vice grips or something like that, or, or uh, this tool here works really well. So you can see here. Um, as, you, as you screw the black tip down, it's got a hook on it. As you screw that tip down, it will lock on to the spring. That way it won't move, so you can kind of use it, move it around.
just thread it on and move it forward to get it off to uh, overcome that sprint test. And uh, it's a real good idea to use your camera and your phone to take a picture of everything, how it looks. Um, definitely don't do both sides right away, you know, like without taking a picture. Don't just rip everything off both sides and then, and then try to put it all back together because you might need to uh, reference to the other side, which is what I call me if I didn't take a picture. And I did take a picture, so I took multiple pictures. Figure out how this MF spring gets out of here. So with this spring here that has this little cut in groove here, this little cam piece for the uh, parking brake, um, I just found that it was easy to turn it this way and then rotate it out that way. This is what the other end looks like. So you can see what I'm doing here. So that little, how I'm setting everything up over here, out of the way, that cam piece there, and then the spring, and then the upper spring on the right. So the upper spring on the right was here, and then the other spring over here that held that cam on for the parking brake was over here in that hole, in that hole right there, the bottom left. And then so this piece comes off here. Just get that out of the way. And then this little odd looking triangular piece Get that off out of the way. And then uh, you'll see down here there's another spring that's got to come off that connects into the uh, that little star wheel down there. And uh, good idea to take pictures. Uh, this is I'm really sorry, this is really hard to film this job. Um, I've, I've actually got to do the work now, so um, I'll just kind of show you on video what it's kind of all looking like here, and then I'll go to the other side and show you. So this is how it all looked before I took anything off, as, you, as you'll see here. That parking brake cable goes into that cam and that spring goes over there. And so basically, like, if you, it, on, on the driver's side rear, so if you look here, the cam is on the right. And so if you come back over to the passenger side with me, the cam is on the left. So that's what I'm working on now, this lower cam piece to get that out of the way. And then I'll remove that center, that center bar there that's underneath the wheel cylinder right here. So I'll get that out of the way, and then I'll take these little uh, these little spring nuts off on both sides, and then once I get those off, then I'll be able to uh, to get this uh, cam piece out of the way, get that piece there out of the way, and then the shoes will come off. So as you can see, if you look closely, it's got a slot. It's slotted. Like a like an X or a cross, and so you have to just turn it to the left or to the right to get it out of there. So you push forward and turn it at the same time. And then there's a pin behind here that sometimes wants to push back. So as you can see, I overcame the spring tension and then I twisted this, this little piece here and then it came out. So there's a close up of it. So stick that one out of the way. Get your first shoe off on the right side here. And then this is the pin I'm talking about here. 
Let's get that out of the way. And then uh, you just do the same thing for the other side. 